the other thing that people like to throw out there that I've seen in like our comments and you know in general is just like everyone wants to see this OG73 back dude I'm telling you Frieza is gonna build his own little army of folks to handle the problems he did he did recruit the two remaining heaters you don't think 73 went with them well, I mean, we didn't see 7-3 all arc. So, I mean, if anything, sure. But 7-3 was like a floating head in a thing. Like, they're just going to grab their stuff and go. Oh, true, true, true. Well, yeah. I'm, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So, like, what if Frieza, Frieza might accidentally stumble across that? Because, like, his subordinates have it now. They're just like, hey, we uh, have this, by the way. He's going to be like, good. Put it over there. Dude, honestly, man. Like, okay. This is another, this is another type of, like, thing that I would love to see happen, right? It's like... Frieza is now the strongest. Frieza is recruiting. He's like formulating his little army of, again with like of like actual folks that can really get shit done. And as the emperor, as the head of the table, you know, as the 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 the, the, the least he has to do is obviously ideal. However, he still takes care of himself in the sense of like anyone else who like you know just regulates the gym or like just stays healthy just because it's the it's the good thing and then the right thing to do to like you know have a nice prolonging healthy life even though realistically someone like frieza may not have to because he's talented or whatever but now he's different now he's doing it because he's you know it's, it's almost like a maintaining thing but because he knows that the way the sayings are is that they're gonna they they see how strong I am. They're gonna get as strong as I am, I'm sure. This time he doesn't doubt them. He knows. He anticipates this. So that's what keeps him in the fucking chamber while he's sending out everyone else to do his dirty work. So by whenever the time they do let's say they do come close to being as strong as Black Frieza one day. Dude, whether it's white Frieza, Platinum Frieza, fucking Rainbow Frieza, fucking it doesn't matter. That like Frieza in general. I want him to still stay at the top no matter what. So if OG73 is one of those fucking guys, great. That would but be great. But the idea was to use OG73's power, not to, like, reinvent him. So I felt like, you know, there was going to be... Because he has a bunch of copies of other people's power in his head. Well, yeah. If, if someone gets, like, the tech to transfer that, it's done. <laughs> oh, so you want, you want his tech to be, what, implanted into Frieza? I mean, the initial plan, it seemed like, was to implant that into gas. Oh, well, that's what it seemed like, but that shit didn't happen at all. That, that That's what I'm saying. It didn't happen at all, but the head's still there. The power mm. of Moro is still inside, and he's not the only one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people, I mean, like I said, like, people wanted, people were expecting more out of OG73 in this last arc, but when you, I mean, just, just looking at, looking back at the arc overall... I was just like, well, I don't see where, like, he would have fit in with how everything played out. Like, it would have felt right. hella random and out of place based on everything that was happening. I mean, even Frieza showing up at the end was, like, the last ditch effort. And that that was the one spot to really make it make sense and to leave that in, that lasting impression. Like, think about it. Out of everything that happened in that last arc, nobody is talking about Bardock anymore. Nobody nope. is talking about Ultra Ego. No one's talking about... No one's talking about their synergy. Nope. That shit, gone. Frieza is the talk of the town and will remain. And everyone, I, I'm going to say it one more time because I swear, literally everyone forgot. No one's talking about the stacking. <laughs> right <laughs> no like you know what i mean like that that's a serious issue here yeah like and but dude that's what i'm saying man it's just like you have this is the situation that we're presented with like this is this is how big of a deal frieza being at the top of the of the mountain is again you know like the last the last like topic that's even being discussed under frieza would be goku's new like new omen ui whatever the fuck his primal in his primal ultra instinct whatever but um even that's not not enough because he got one he got one punched yeah <laughs> yeah so <sighs> yeah i uh <sighs> that's yeah I, I mean 
I mean, and this is this is this is the part where I have to like step back from my own fucking ideas right here on this podcast with y'all and be like, as great as those ideas are, I just it would be nice to see it happen. But will it happen? Shit, we might as well just tell Nasir to start fucking writing our own script. <laughs> right. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs> <laughs>